best software for logo design is what we're covering in today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Tutorial Tucker and welcome to the channel where I upload all sorts of softwares and just alternatives to softwares as well, like online versions. But today I'm showing you some awesome ways to make yourself a logo, one method, and I've got another method coming up really soon. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell as well, and hit the like button so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video and you just see all the videos in the future. And I really do appreciate all the support. Just by leaving a like and a comment because these videos do take me a while to make they literally break down how to use the software etc so yeah please go and leave it support on the channel and enjoy the video i hope it's useful and i reveal the actual software in the next clip so yeah let's jump straight into that and all software links you'll need to be down below and some others as well so yeah let's jump into the clip so this is a site we're going to be using it's called wix logo maker now before you go and click off and check out this awesome software do not because i'm showing you all the best tips on how to use the software and make the most out of it so yeah let's get straight into this go and click on start now once you're on the site so it's wix.com logo slash maker or i just simply googled lo um, wix logo maker so go and click start now and we're running through all the settings so you need to quickly sign up here so i'm going to do that right now uh let me quickly do this um enter your password and then enter it again and then go and click sign up and once you're signed up you're now going to be loaded here now as you can see the first step is start designing your logo. So here's entering your name. So depending on what type of logo you're designing, you need to enter it specifically how you want it to look on the logo. So in my for my, for myself, I'm making a logo for YouTube, and my channel name is Tutorial Tucker. And that is all you need to do. So enter your name like that. If it's got no spaces, make it no spaces. And adding your timeline. So for me, I make tutorials. So um, I could say all tutorials here. Just like that so all tutorials needed are here so i'm actually added that needed are here and when it comes up with this then all you need to do is enter youtube and as you can see it comes up there's actually so many here they've got so many this is literally made for youtubers it's insane there are so many so for me i guess it is mine's a tech channel but i may quickly go down to your cooking diy so much from stuff you know dancing fitness beauty every niche on youtube is on here which is so useful so i think i'm gonna go for the tech one so i'm gonna click youtube tech channel and then go and click next and it's this is so cool because it's literally giving you everything you need so oh, i want a dynamic one that'd be quite cool creative techie yes um f i don't know if it's modern yes yeah, definitely fresh and i quite like a performer one so yeah that's the type of thing you want you could obviously click all of these and you can skip these steps if you really don't care about them but i think it's pretty important to have like an idea of what you want your logo to actually look like because it's obviously personal to you and it doesn't take too long to go and choose what you want so i'm going to click next so now, as you can see here, it's giving you options of what logos you like better to help it come up with the idea for you. So for this, I actually prefer the one on the right, so I'm going to go for this one. Um, that's too basic for you, I'm going to go for this one here, um, this one here, uh, this one here. And then I'm going to, I think this is a nice one for me. So then it's going to come up with all these here and it tells you how it, you need to choose where you want to use your logo. So obviously if you're making a website logo, just for a presentation, just if it's your merchandise. For me, it's social media obviously, but because I don't need business cards or anything like that. So I'm going to click on social media. You could select multiple, um, but for now, I think I'm just going to use it on YouTube. Then I'm going to click next and now it's coming up with your logo. So as you can see, it's finding your style. After this, do not worry if you aren't making a YouTube logo, I'm going over a different design so now it's gonna come up with this so this is really cool so these are the logos it's come up with now do not worry this is not the final logo you can actually go and edit this yourself so it always gives you a bit of base work to come up with something cool so let, I'm gonna have a look for these and click load more see so how so many it's literally made hundreds for you um, so one I quite cool I do quite like this one um, but I was something a bit more bold I think so I'm gonna keep just scrolling down until I see something I really like so I think I'm going to go with this one. I really like the sort of, I guess it's the planet with the rocket. So then you come over it and you get the, you get the, um, what's it called? The pop-up saying customize. So click on that and then we can go and edit it ourselves. You can change all the colors and it literally is so cool because you get, sometimes I find with logo design, it's really hard to come up with that basic idea of what you want your logo to look like, but also something like this, it gives you so many ideas and then you can just change the more little features and add more icons and stuff. So let's go and jump straight into this. So you can go and change the logo if you want, which is really, really cool but the main thing is you know changing the size so it will change the off centering but i do want that a bit bigger and you can grab it and it'll help you center it again so you want it to be about there maybe a bit higher so it's not touching 
and I may change the tagline. I know I did originally obviously set it up, but it's so easy to change. You just double click it and then it comes up here. Actually, I think I'm just going to remove it. I'm not a fan. So click on it and then press delete and then you'll be back here. So what I'm going to do is now I've removed that, I'm going to increase the size of this a bit. Um, just like so and I'm gonna make these on separate lines because of these rule docker they're two words I'm gonna separate them so I'm gonna double click it again and simply come down here and press enter and further down you can actually flip the logo around so that was quite cool sort of going down but I've got the idea of it going up like YouTube channels growing obviously so the rockets going up and you can flip it around so you just make it look a bit different so it's going up to the left but you can also rotate it like marginally so you don't have to do it by either like 180 degrees or 90 degrees so you can just change it more, a bit more marginally so you can go straight up um, but yeah that's really cool so I'm gonna have it just where it was what was it about here ish probably um, so it's not with the letters perfect and you can go and change all of these as well and you can change the opacity to make it sort of like shade in more and not um i guess be, you can change basically the boldness of it, i guess i think that's the best way to explain opacity so you can lower up and down like that i want it on full just so you get the full idea so now you can actually go and change the background as well so you can literally do anything you can have a transparent background so if you do that then it just makes it a white background um and you can go and change the color so, so i quite like this color so i am going to save this so if you're interested in just like testing colors what i do recommend sometimes is just coming here and co copying the background color if i can double click it right click copy just so in case the new color i'm not happy with how it turns out you can just go and change it really easily so let's just try and just move along different colors what i do sometimes is say put it here and slowly move it along seeing all how all the different colors look essentially so i just slowly move it along until i see a color i like um, I, I imagine it might be a greeny or blue um but i'll just continue to go through to see what i think so we got to the end i forgot there um, i'm gonna head back and see so let's try a blue highlight like this like a night sky but that's too dark because of the of what the font is and the color of the font um no you know what in the end i'm gonna go back but that is how you can change the color i don't want windows um there we go and now yeah that's pretty basic just like so and then you can go off this and yeah you can go and add shapes as well which is really really useful so if you want to hand here you click add shape and then you can add all of these so we've just got a square here um but you could add other stuff obviously uh, you can change in like a circle say if you want to put your text inside a circle possibly and then you click move backwards and then it will put your text inside it so i may need to move that down just a bit uh, just like so and it's just a bit too small actually so i may increase the size quickly just by dragging it out and again and it fits so yeah it's so so easy to use and that just adds like a bit of boldness to it i think and just makes it you know makes the name come out from the actual background and makes it clear so yeah if you want that you can go and do that i'm going to delete it i just i'm quite a minimalist i do quite like keeping stuff simple um but anyway so then come back to the shapes and obviously you can add shape to do that like i said before and you can change all the settings just like i did and i'm going to delete that again because i don't need it and then you can come to the icons now here you can add more icons or even change this one uh, i'll click customize i really do like that one though um so I am going to keep that, but you can change it by clicking change icon and there are so many here. It literally gives you hundreds of logos depending on what sort of, I guess, genre your business is. Like that's pretty cool. I quite like that sort of like splatter effect, um, but there's so much depending on what your business is. Like all these sort of like, I guess these like minimalist and sort of like 3D icons look really cool as well in my opinion. Like you could just have a full screen of that logo and they look really professional. So yeah, but there are so many, that's just the trend you can click abstract. Um, and it will load so much more of these decorations hand-drawn animals nature like anything you can imagine is here to make your dream icon so i guess i probably should change it because i can't, i did get given that one so that one looks quite cool sort of like the effect of the big sort of a city so i'm going to keep this one and then just rotate it back to, to zero if i can align that perfectly and now to finish this off you need to go i'm going to line these up quickly so let's just line these up again just perfectly like so and then you've got your finished logo so obviously you can add so much more to that if you want to i'm per i'm personally really happy with how it's turned out so i'm going to keep it just like this um and i could go and use it for my channel icon but i think for me i'd probably use this more on like maybe another social media like an instagram post something cool like that and maybe add like a different background just like a general picture of anything like nature would be quite cool to have instead of just a plain background so once you've made your ideal logo you then go and click next and you'll be brought to this page. Now, as you can see, you can actually go and build a logo with it and it literally makes it look how your website would look. Obviously, you can change it more in depth, but it still looks really, really cool. It gives you the idea of how it's gonna look on a website. But no, I'm gonna go and download it and you click get it now. 
and you'll be given this but then to go and get it free you can click download the free version and it's going to go and download it for you and you get that you get the sample just like so there it is there is your finished logo on your computer and you can go and zoom in to go and see it it's really really cool so yeah i hope you have found this video useful if you have go and smash that like you don't actually have to pay it's pretty sneaky down here so make sure you do go and just click download the free version again and you can go and open it up just like so so yeah if you have found the video useful, smash a like, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.